Well, I got this letter. Dear Captain Matt, I have recently noticed there are large cod on the wreck of the Titanic. I would like to fish these from my rowboat with a bobber. What suggestions do you have for a rig? Well, that's easy. You need a Daytona rig, of course. Well, how does it work? From the time your bobber hits the water, the weight pulls the line through it until the bead is stopped by a line tie at the depth you want your hook to run. It engages the bobber, and now you're fishing at that depth. Whether it be six or 600 feet, you are only limited by the amount of line on your reel spool. All right, the difference between this rig and all the other rig is this one. Cast like a bullet. What else could we do with this? We could fish any bridge, any depth, for any species simply by varying the depth of our hook. What else can we do? Well, we can fish off of a jetty for pelagics if we've got access to that kind of water because this will go down to any depth and uh, with a cork. We can also fish all the, along the jetty snag free or we can use our casting ability with it to cast out and ca cast into the trough for big fish that are always down here in the trough below the jetty. Alright, you can work this off a beach as well for flounder or anything else. Uh, even without the bobber tie, you're just letting your sinker hit the bottom and you're working the cork on the top as it comes back in and that's making you pull your plastic out or your bait or whatever you want. And every time you bump that, this thing is going to go like a wacky worm in fresh water and attract them. So there's all kinds of things you can do with this rig beyond what you might think. Alright, what are we going to need to rig this? Well, we're going to need a sinker. We're going to need our hook or a, uh, if we're going to use a jig, it's going to be sitting right here, either or, or a plastic, whatever we want. Then we're going to take a sacrificial piece, if we're using a hook, between the hook and our bobber. And that keeps our bait from going up here when we cast it. Remember, we can cast this really aggressively, and we don't want that bait getting stuck in the bobber and gumming up the work. So we're going to put just a little uh, barrier to our bait. Up top we're going to need a, a couple of beads. You can use art beads if you want and I've got a link to the other film uh, which combines the Carolina rig, the Texas rig, into one rig, the slip rig, and it goes all through the different kind of beads. You want to make sure they're plastic. All right, and we're going to, up, up our line, we're going to have a two ties. These are ones I did in the 70s uh, in Daytona, made out of stir stick straws. And uh, at the end of this film, I will teach you, I'll just plug the, the film on from the old tie that I did, and you can tie your own if you wish to do that, or you can buy them. They come in, in packs. All right, let's go ahead and put this rig together so you can go fishing. All right, the Titanic's pretty deep. I don't have any current reports, but I know we need heavier lines, so we're going to go with 50-pound test. And we're going to build this in reverse. That is, we're going to start with our tie, two ties, go to our bobber, then we're going to go to our bait stop, then to our hook, and finally we're going to wind up at our weight. We're going to take two ties. These need to be cord ties instead of not light thread like you sometimes find on uh, crappie rigs. And we're just going to slide these off the tube. These need to be pulled tight. Very tight. As tight as you can tie them. Okay. 
If that slides easy and that doesn't slide easy, you did it wrong. Okay. Take our second one. Okay, so we've got that. Now the idea here is one, the bottom tie is going to jam the top one. Okay, and give you double the bearing strength. All right, now we're going to need two beads. Hold on a minute. This is 50 pound test again, so. All right, see how easy that, that bead slides on? You would never believe that. Same size as this large bead. All right, got that up there. So now we have a stop for our bobber. I'm going to thread this through. I never have to worry about even taking this off. In fact, it might even help me. Bang. Okay. Now, on the bottom of, I'm going to, I'm going to rig it with a sacrificial, just so you could see how it could be rigged with a small hook. All right, I have cut that from that little bobber. And we're gonna thread that on. And that's just a bait stopper. And you want something that floats. It'll float away from that hook. Now we're gonna put our hook on. And you have to decide, do I want the hook be floating up like that or down like that. In other words, am I going in the upper jaw or am I going in the lower jaw? Well, at the depth that we're doing, I'm going to go in the lower jaw of these fish. And whatever way you put it on the line is the way it's going to go. Now I'm going to double the bearing strength of my hook on my hook. And you can land a tremendous big fish this way if you'll just do that. We'll just double the bearing strength on your hook. Bass fishing, flounder fishing, redfish fishing, any kind of fishing, does not matter. All right, see how that's hanging out like that? That's exactly what you want. Any, all the way down to the bottom, you want it hanging. Can you see that? You want that hook hanging out like that. Now, there it is right side up. It's going to be hanging right out. Okay. Now on the bottom end of it, we're going to tie our weight any weight you want. I don't care what you use. Okay. Here you've got the basics of it. The Daytona rig. That is going to be your meat guard and it, as it floats on down it's just going to go right like that Bing. we want to make almost a, a hook looking thing and we're going to wrap five wraps around this so let's just lay this right down this cord right down on the soda straws and I'm going to wrap one, two, three, four, five. Now, you want at least five. You can do more. Don't do any less. With this end, we're going to leave this end alone. We're going to take this end and go right down that trough. Just like that. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to take the other end if I can get it out. Pull these tight. Just like that. 